Say good morning. We're up very early today to get some fluids in Jessie before she goes and has her scope of her throat done. Huh? It's 6.30 and she always wants to watch our videos on YouTube. So we're watching us. <laughs> Why do you like watching them? Like, if you went somewhere without me, like Liam and you, I could watch your videos to know what you were doing there. Gotcha. And this one, you didn't come to this appointment with me, did you? So you get to see what you missed out on. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, there's Fran. So we're just going to get these fluids in her before she has to stop oh, drinking fluid. Oh man. Off we go. Are you ready, Jessie? Yep. We had an eventful morning already. We left the kids with Chris's mom and this is the first time she's watched Freya alone with the kids so we had to go through all the you know emergency medications and everything and then we went to leave we were going to leave our car because it has the car seat and chris's truck wouldn't start the battery had died so then we had to go back in and see if we needed to move the car seat but they're just gonna stick home so we're on our way You ready for this? Mm -hmm. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're next. Yeah. I got dad here. We're ready to go. Mm -hmm. All right. They took her back early even, which was very good. Chris went to go get her a smoothie so that when she wakes up from surgery, she'll have a smoothie and just sitting here waiting. The anesthesiologist was great. Her nurse was amazing. He sat and showed her all the medical stuff and sat and chatted with us and got her a warm blanket and just was very attentive and great. So I need to find a, I know they have cards here for, oh, they're right here to recognize the staff and I need to fill one of those out for him because he absolutely was amazing. So we'll just wait now. How you doing? Good. Good. She's eating your mashed potatoes and gravy. It's her favorite. And mac and cheese. And mac and cheese. Do you like the mac and cheese? It looked good. Um Surgery went well. We're home. You got all your favorite foods and drinks. Yep. yep. How's your throat feel? Better, it does now? Good. You did so good. Yeah. All right, it is the next day. How are you feeling? Better than this morning. Better than this morning. And was this morning better than yesterday? worse than yesterday yeah she she slept until like 10 30 and i didn't wake her up for her ibuprofen because she was sleeping so good so you probably felt worse this morning because you didn't sorry freya's playing with something because you didn't have any ibuprofen huh uh -huh. do you have anything you want everybody to know Not that I know of. Okay. So he found two, what we are almost 100% sure are the inlet patches. Inlet patches are uh, stomach tissue growing in your throat. He took both of those out. He said that he would be surprised if this was causing such severe symptoms because they didn't look like a typical inlet patch 
and they weren't that big. So we basically are waiting until your throat heals and we're gonna see if her symptoms stop. If they do, then we know that was the cause. If they don't, then we're gonna go back and discuss other things. He also took some biopsies while he was in there so he can look and see if she's having any other issues that he couldn't see with the naked eye. And he also is gonna test 100% for celiac, which would be good because then we'll know for sure whether or not you should be eating gluten. I might be milk Also, yeah, he said lactose intolerance. Uh, but 100% sure she does not have EOE like Freya. And yeah, it's just a wait and see, which is not great. Sorry, I just realized I didn't tell you guys, I'm about to go out and work in the yard. That's why I've got my sunglasses and hat on. Um, anyway, I just, I was hoping for more concrete answers with this procedure and we still kind of don't have them, which is frustrating. Is that frustrating to you too? Yeah. So hopefully those spots were just causing all her problems and uh, she needs about six weeks to heal, he said. So hopefully in about six weeks, then she will be good. That's the hope, huh? There's a fly on my arm. <laughs> yeah, that's our hope, is that soon all her symptoms will be gone. All the throat clearing and coughing and slow eating will hopefully resolve itself, huh? And if not, then we'll keep looking for answers, huh? Yep. Yep, because that's what we do. We don't stop until we have answers, huh? Yeah, I love you so much. Oh, kiss. Ah, nice. All right, so uh, come back next time for Freya's IEP, I think should be the next one. We might have one in between now and then, but I think Freya's IEP should be next. So make sure you come back next time. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.